Hey guys, how's it going? Electron Man, how you doing? Well, I got a, another one on the Flash Forge printer. Um, this is kind of an interesting one. It's the first, uh, I guess you'd say, negative thing I found about it. I'm loving the printer. It prints awesome. But uh, anyway, I ended up, I've been having so much fun printing that I was running out of uh, filament. So I ordered some more filament and realized that, uh, I don't know why manufacturers do this, but they made it to where like a normal spool, a one kilogram spool, won't fit in the thing. And then you have to special order it from them and then they didn't even have a good selection. So not real happy with that. That you know, a lot of options are, you know, you can hang the filament outside the cabinet, but I want something I want it with the door on it shut. So anyway, I got to searching around and uh I came up with this solution. Um first let's see here. You can see the filament. This is the spool that came in it. You know, it goes in here. Well, if you look, a normal filament spool. A normal filament spool, look. They're not the same size. It's about, oh, I don't know, 30, 40 millimeters sm uh, smaller. So a normal spool like this will not fit in there. It won't fit into the, the hole here. Which is, why didn't they just make, I don't know. It looks like to me there's enough plastic there. They could have made the hole bigger, but... Probably because they want you to buy their filament, whatever. So anyway, I got online in Thingverse, and uh, actually I went on Reddit and the forum out there and got to reading about uh, Flash Forge, and somebody uh, put a link out there to show you how to solve that, and uh, it's a pretty cool solution. I thought I'd share it with you, because um, obviously this ain't going to fit in there. And uh, and I don't want to have to be buying special filament. I, I like to watch for sales and, and pick my filament up wherever I want and, uh, and not have to worry about it not fitting the printer. So, as you can see here, I've been a busy little bee printing all these parts that that, uh, that uh, the file I found on Thingverse. This is basically, this is one, one file. And what this is, is this is an extension cabinet. Yeah, the printer's doing awesome though. I mean, look at it. Of course, I ran out of film and I had to go to a different color. I had it hanging outside to finish it up, but... The whole cabinet I built us, but I mean, look at the quality. I mean, the printer is doing wonderful. We can just get it to work, prints normal film, and uh, we'll be in good shape. So anyway, the way this works is, is this is like a jigsaw puzzle, and uh, let me go ahead and put it together. I'm trying to figure out where I can put the camera where you can get a good view of it. Let me go ahead and hopefully that'll get you a good view. So this is like a little jigsaw puzzle, but uh, basically this is going to be your your top if you look at the way it works, and. Uh, and then you're going to have this piece is the, the wedge in between the two. Actually, it's going to go. It will go uh, like this. We'll, we'll put it together. Um, so, let's see here. Let's start with. We'll start with the bottom. I'm all over the place on this. Okay. So, basically, if you look, you got the center piece here. It's got two edges here. So you're gonna go outside edge, outside edge. It slides on like that. It slides on like that. Then you got the sides. Which slide on like that. Slide on like that. that oh and you got these two little clips that prints too the uh which it goes in i mean it's amazing how to fit it in on this but it goes in here it's this little extra clip well it goes inside of here and it fits down in there and it snaps it like that and that's that's the clip to hold it onto the unit and then uh go ahead and slip this other like this And then you have this final top piece here. Which slips on like that. Now, as you can see, you have built a... Let me bring the camera out. Now, as you can see, I've built this uh, 
unit with that. Oh, and this piece here right here, if you look at it, it's got like a little notch there. It will fit in there like that. So, like that. Amazing how well this printer printed this. I mean, this is an amazing part here. And now you just take it and you hook it on the bottom where it used to, like that. And then it's got the two top clips. Look at that. We've now snapped it all together. So you have the whole unit on there. Now then it printed these extensions here. So you got this big extension here, which it goes on like that. And depending on your spool, it also has this extra one. So if the spool needs to set up a little higher, I guess it depends on the size of the hole, it'll do that. In fact, let's see how my spool fits in there, does it? Like that. And guess what? Look at this. The door even fits back on it. Did I? So now, yeah, my printer's got a little bit wider of a, a stance, but it's got the spool inside the cabinet, so everything's sealed up like it was. And uh, we're back up a happy donkey, and uh, we can now uh, buy any spool we need instead of having to buy this proprietary little spool and either re-spool it or whatever. But love the solution here. I am going to go ahead and take a minute and... Uh, since it's so good is I'm gonna go ahead and epoxy it together it doesn't as you can see it doesn't necessarily need it but I just like to have it a little more rigid and, uh, and go ahead and just epoxy it together because it can kind of want to slide in and out uh, you could probably see a glue it too but epoxy the thing I like about epoxy is it's a little slower drying I think I got the five minute or seven minute one so I can kind of be real neat with it and get it all positioned right before it dries CA if you you know one drop and 10 seconds later if you ain't got it right that and ca tends to want to run and make messes where i can use asphalt alcohol and clean up any that spills out or anything so anyway i'm going to go ahead and glue it all basically the epoxy this i'm just going to my two-part epoxy here it's got a little mixing thing here main thing is you want equal parts I'm going to do it in small little sections. I don't want to try and mix up too much and get ahead of myself here. So we'll just mix up a little bit here. Let's see how far this goes. Just put a little... while with it. Nice thing about epoxy is it cleans up real easy too if you Together like that. Pop off any excess. Slide it together. Again, wipe off any excess. Just to make sure that it doesn't glue the way I don't want it to. So I'll go ahead and hanging on there. I haven't glued any of this top yet, but that's fine. Because I kind of want to make sure I'm forming it up good and tight before I get the best fit here. See what I'm doing? All this bottom half glue. And then I'll just come back and glue the top half. I mean, it's pretty simple. But I wanted to do it this way so that I make sure that I don't. Because it has a little bit of wiggling. I want to make sure that I'm shaped perfect. I'm just being picky, but 
technically you don't even have to glue it but if you want to this is kind of a way I'm doing it for five or so minutes and I'll go back and put the top two on there and then we'll come back and look at it all all right guys I got her all glued together now um, I mean nothing special there technically you don't have to do it it just makes it more rigid and I want it to be permanent so I just thought I'd go ahead and glue the pieces together but uh, like I said not technically necessary but Eh, this went that extra mile, so I made it permanent. I mean, technically, I guess you could glue it to the case, too, but it doesn't need that. But now we're just going to go ahead and, uh, and load up here. Um, which, always clockwise as usual. Now it has a little extra uh, thing you feed it through there. Just so that uh, it keeps the spool nice and centered. And then we're just going to feed it in like we usually do. And then we'll go ahead and go to filament and hit load. And here in a second, I'll start sucking it in. Kind of already showed you how to load a filament, but yeah, just hit load filament on the screen. It's going to heat the extruder up. This is even a double reel that I had laying around, but uh, it'll definitely take the one pound or the one kilogram big reels now, which is so much better than trying to figure out how to buy these. I couldn't even find, I ordered one, thought I had the right one, came in, it wasn't even the right one. So uh, this is a great solution. I don't know why they just didn't make it a little wider and make the cover like this, but then we had that discussion already, probably proprietary wanting to sell you just their filament. But anyway, let's go ahead and get her loaded now. There we go. Hang her on the hook now as you see she's just pulling the spool out nice and neatly put the cover on just like so nice tight fit cover back on it slide her back over here it did make her a little wider but well worth it still fits in my spot I made for it perfectly Now I can order any filling I want. I'm just waiting for it to go ahead and finish feeding now. Uh, it's starting to come out. There you go, she's a feeding new filament. And there's a new filament. Or actually it's not new filament, but refed the filament. We're ready to rock and roll with a nice big new spool. Hopefully you enjoyed that guys. Uh, definitely a little tools for the trick um, on this flash forge. Um, I'm sure appreciative of whoever created that uh, file because uh, that definitely uh, makes for a huge difference. And I mean it doesn't really change the footprint much and it looks like it came with it now. And now I can put just normal spools on it. Really awesome. Have fun 3D printing guys. This is Electron Man. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and as always, have a great day. <laughs>